Kyle here, today I'll be reviewing set 76301, Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter. Released January 1st of 2021, retailing for 50 euro with three minifigures. And an astromech. Starting with Luke himself, who is in his Rebel Pilot gear with his iconic Rebel Pilot helmet, which thankfully isn't the molded one from 2018. Also, it's important to get the sides of the helmet. One face print has him with his visor down and chin strap with a somewhat confident smile. The other face print has his visor off with a teeth grinning smile and with his chin strap visible. The torso print is what you'd expect for a pilot Luke with the pipe printing continuing down to his hips, which is always great to see when the printing lines up, and the back of the torso has the straps from the front continued. The leg print has two pouches and a bullet strap as well as his lightsaber as an accessory. Of course, the other Skywalker in this set is Leia in her princess dress, who's also available in the Tanta 4 from 2019, as well as the foil pack. She's a confident smile on one face and an angry face on the other. The torso print is pretty basic but accurate and has her hood as a print on the back. She uses the newer style dress slope piece for legs with wrinkles at the front and back as printing. For an accessory, she has a standard blaster piece in silver. The last minifigure, well, the last traditional minifigure in this set is General John Don Donna, which is his very first minifigure, making him the only exclusive in this set. He uses the dark brown hair piece from Back to the Future, has a neutral face print on one side and an angry face on the other. Also, his mount looks weird. The jacket printing is pretty basic but connects to the hips and legs, making it look pretty good, and on the back is a very basic design. Of course, Luke's X-Wing wouldn't be complete without R2-D2, which is also the same R2 figure from 2020, as a really common problem with most astromech dome printing, where it's kinda slanted, but who knows, maybe someday LEGO will finally find a way to fix that. Probably not though. Looking at the build, it's what you'd expect from an X-Wing set, and it's pulled off superbly for 50 bucks. Although make sure to be very precise with the stickers because there's quite a lot. At least the windshield piece is printed which taking a look inside the cockpit is pretty basic for Lego Star Wars with a printed console at the front. Of course R2 easily fits into the astromech spot and is pretty secure in there. The Technic mechanism for the wings is really well hidden, although the back section of the set feels a bit stumpy, especially compared to the front of the ship. The back of the ship is a bit studded and has some slightly exposed Technic parts in red and blue, but it's not a big deal since it's the back of the ship. You can easily put the X-Wing in flight mode by pushing down on this raised Technic piece, and of course there's spring-loaded shooters to represent the ship's blasters. Landing gears are all ski pieces, but the one at the front feels a bit loose. Front of the instructions has the boxer of the set, and at the back is advertisements for the January 2021 wave, and the minifigures featured in each set, although if you look closely, you can see Return of the Jedi Luke with a blue lightsaber. Boy, I really hope somebody got fired for that blunder. The last advertisement in the instructions is for the Skywalker Saga, though interestingly, not advertising the next-gen versions. Overall, as an X-Wing for 50 bucks, this is a fantastic set. I'm worth great as a display piece, more so than the TIE Fighter from the wave. Quick plug to that review, by the way. The fact we get four minifigures in this set is incredible since they only really needed to include Luke and R2. But with all that said, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of your future reviews. And until next time, see ya.